So welcome back, people, to MG Sports TV. Thank you very much again for joining. Now we'll be discussing two of Reggae Boys' youngsters, the two youngest players in the squad, um, technically being featured in the, Com in the Copa America um, listing regarding to the young players that are partaking in the Copa America this year. The 15 youngest players in Copa Ball Copa America 2024 and we have two players partaking are two players who are amongst that and for me personally this is a wonderful thing to see in many aspects anyways before we get into the details please do hit that like button hit the subscribe button as well would thoroughly appreciate if you do so and if you want if you have if you have the whatsapp group whatsapp channel or whatsoever please most definitely share it um in those forums would really appreciate it but big up on yourself people massive massive respect every time all right so kara anderson and kyan dixon um, was featured um for the in the copa america for the younger the, the 15 youngest players in who, who, who will be partaking in the copa america um for the 2024 season now it's quite an interesting one for me personally because i have to say that i think it's a very good look on jamaica to know that we have two players um, partaking in this feed because of how our Grimson is now structuring his team. And I do think a lot of persons are not really a look, you know, but there's quite a lot of experienced, experienced players in the team. But if you look at the team in itself and how he mold the team, I think he's slightly going a little bit younger in some aspects for some particular areas on the pitch. These two players are two players that I think highly talk about at this present moment. Who have a bright future? Now, let's first touch on Kerry Anderson. Um, Kerry Anderson representing Jamaica in the Copa America at 19 years, 8 months, and 20 days old. Anderson was born in England and has been playing for Jamaica since 2023, making six appearances for Himir Al Grimson's national teams so far he's coming off a year of asserting himself at charlton athletic scoring two goals and providing three assists in england's third division 2023-2024 season no let me just we'll be touching on this a bit soon let me just touch a little bit on kara anderson um my thoughts on him so far no initially the first time i saw kara anderson i'm like mm, quite an interesting uh, uh, um player didn't necessarily dominate you could see that he was young but you could see the potential you could definitely see the potential and as 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 as, 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 as we have seen him more and more often i think the last three games or so maybe last the first two was a little bit look relatively okay but for the last four games that we have seen Kerry anderson coming out either coming off the bench or starting he has looked very very competent he has looked significantly matured He's playing extremely like a mature midfielder now. Now, for me, going to the Copa America, it's 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 quite unsure if Al Grimson will start in base of how he set up his system. From my perspective, from my perspective, I would most definitely want to see him start in the midfield. I do believe he has the balance of good going forward and quite decent defensively. One and two moments is technically out of position but you could see that he understand the role that Al Grimson wants him to play in this team specifically for me I would want to see a double pivot for me it's my opinion I would definitely want to see a double pivot with Kara Anderson and Damian Lowe because we all we all know that Al Grimson will go with Damian Lowe in the midfield I know a lot of persons don't want to see him but I think it's, it's a little bit a, a, a bit more balanced a player who can compliment um damian low so i would technically go with um, um damian low and kara anderson as my double pivot now go in the comment section tell me what you think and tell me who you would use as your double pivot but let's get back to kara anderson for me personally i have been very very impressed with the growth and the maturity that kara anderson is showing as he continues to play for the reggae boys and this goes also to show our highlights um, the reason why Al Grimson 
is so adamant in keeping this youngster around the team or in the team and playing because not just the fact that he's he, he, he's talented not just the fact that he's talented not just the fact that he's playing at a, a, a very good le decent level and he has a decent ceiling but his mindset and how he's maturing um as as the games go go along now let's move on to the next player um kaim dixon no no my boy <laughs> anyways kaim dixon jamaica age 19 years eight months and 17 days so technically kaim dixon and kara anderson are the same age just three days apart only three days apart but touch on current current i think for the for the, for the for the two for the two World Cup qualifiers game, Kara Anderson would have outshined Daniel Johnson and Casey Palmer in my analysis. I can be wrong. Tell us what you think in the comment section. But whilst I go in the comment section, whilst I go into the comment section, there is also a link in the comment section, a pin link in the comment section. You can definitely help us, support us by buying us a coffee. And also on the journey to the comment section, please most definitely hit that like button and if you haven't done so there's a big red button saying subscribe in no red again sorry no red again there's a big button saying subscribe or join you can most definitely click those button and become a part of the mg sports family let's get back on to the show all right so um kyan dixon another rookie for his national team kyan dixon has been playing for onyx gardens in the jamaica first division since last year and it's coming off a season with six goals in 13 games. He wore the Reggae Boys jersey for the first time this year. He's a striker who can also play on the flanks. Now, let's touch a little bit on Kaim Dixon. Let's first of all, who remember the goal of Kaim Dixon score versus uh, Dominica? Now, people, <laughs> we did a program last night and we were discussing um, that goal in particular. And the question I'm asking, can anyone of you guys go in the comment section and tell me exactly what goal that have been scored where a Jamaican attacker takes on a defender, spins him like a whirlwind and scores the goal after the action. And attack, after your pass, I get him at about immediately after dismissing a defender, putting the ball in the back of the net. Can you, can you go in the comment section at this present moment or go and do some research and tell me when last have we seen a reggae boy do something like that i haven't seen it in a long time so if that is the case i strongly believe that he would join the ranks of some of the jamaican or the reggae boys who have been very skillful and probably some of the greats then. but anyways no a player that i've been watching for so 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 long coming through the ranks of clarendon college and the first time I, see, I saw Kyle Dixon was when he was playing um, for Chapleton Maroons. That's before they got promoted to the Jamaica Premier League. I will cover, I will cover in the Tier 2 competition. The funny thing is that he was not necessarily the standout player as well. The standout player was um, Malachi Douglas, Christopher Hull, and um, Malachi Douglas, Christopher Hull, and Marcus Reed were the standout player. But Kyle Dixon was the goal scorer. Both Kyle Dixon and Javier Lynch were the two players who interchange and score or, or the score goal scorers but that was the first time i see kyan dixon quite nimble at his footwork never did physically rigid because it's, it's a lot more rigid now but he would have get past defenders quite easily then went on to the schoolboy football i've been watching him and you know oh brilliant first season and that can suck up brilliant performances time and time again until he got the opportunity which is last schoolboy football season where really really hit the heights and get the acknowledgement um a lot of person uh, you would use the term uh, acknowledgement that a lot of person say you know what this kid has some talent he looks good let's see what he has to offer in the senior team so a lot of fans were crying for Kyle Dixon in the senior team even though that's the regular thing for jamaican supporters whenever we see a student uh, um in the school board football perform well we tend to make a loud cry for them to be a part of the senior team, in which I think quietly is a bit unfair because sometimes the players aren't necessarily ready for that level. But we also, we're definitely going to cry for them because we think, based on what we're seeing, we think they're ready. But the fact is, sometimes, most of the times, they're actually <laughs> not ready. No, this youngster got the opportunity, Al Grimson said, you know what? Luckily, Al Grimson is the type of coach who keeps these local camps and... And I think the, the, the aspect of keeping the local camps would have um, 
bring Al Grimson to a, a closer relationship with some of the players in the Jamaica Premier League so that he can sift through and see who's ready or who's not. He got the opportunity to see Kyle Dixon playing and I have I assume that he fancied him. And the first time they played some them practice game, they went down by Clarendon and Glenmuir to play some practice game. They played two practice games, right? And only one player basically played both games. <laughs> um, or actually, only one player basically started both games. And that was Kyle Dixon. I think they drew one of the games nil all, and they won one of the games 1-0. Who scored the goal? Kyle Dixon. So, during the time period, is um, Algrams to keep playing these practice games with the local clubs, utilizing the All-Star JP, uh, JPL team, which is the, the regular boys, B team um, you'd refer to. Kyle Dixon keep on scoring. Algrams said, you know what, this, this youngster has something about him. You know what, so let me keep him around. Let me just go on. Let me just keep on monitoring this youngster. Then now, international friends pop up. We all know we have a good relationship with Trinidad and Tobago. And we forge that relationship by traveling to um, Trinidad and Tobago to play those two practice games. Jamaica, first game, 0-0. Zero, zero. Hmm, our first game done 0-0. Zero, zero. Anyways, we drew on the game, Nilal. But the next game, Jamaica won the game. One goal to zero. Who scored? Kyle Dixon. So, incrementally, he keeps getting better. Whatever level he's, he's taken to, he rises to that occasion and he performs at that particular level. Now, I know that this go, um, um, Copa America, and many people say that, you know, that he's not ready, this or that. But it would have already been proven to Al Grimson that whichever level he takes this youngster, he raises his standard and performs at that particular level. Now, let me show you. When the World Cup qualifier squad picked many persons, say, boy, Kyle Dixon, yeah. You have persons who are saying that, despite seeing the performance that we saw. The World Cup qualifiers were the two games that I think kind of solidified their mindset where they think about Kyle Dixon. You know what? Let's keep him around. He seems to have something about him. Now, that game that we see versus Dominica, albeit throw away quite a few chances, scored a wonderful goal and as, as i mentioned one of the goal that that type of goal that we don't see a lot a, a lot and let me tell you something about those type of goals jamaicans resonate resonate with those type of goals because there's a bit of flair trickery and then the finishing and then now the older folks i think both the top of whitmore the walter boyd the, the not not so old that's a boy rick fuller shelton <laughs> so then so you know so that's how we start looking at things now. We don't have younger players now. We don't have players in the squad right now where we say score those type of goals. Yeah, people are going to say, boy, probably the, the quality of the opponent, but you have to respect it's international football. And if you're watching the Euros right now, you realize that even if a team, you, you consider a team at the lower, lower spectrum, it don't necessarily mean that you're just going to turn up and walk over them because that's not how football operates. Nevertheless, um, I'm, I'm very much happy to see him progressing through the phases incrementally, getting better, um, continuously getting better time and time again. And I love what I'm seeing from the youngster. So um, this is a big, big occasion for both youngsters, both Kyle Dixon and Kara Anderson. The big question is, will they be able to step up to the occasion? In my view, I think from what we have seen so far, both of them have shown that they have the qualities they have the necessary mindset and characteristics to definitely step up to the plate. Go in the comment section at this present moment and tell me what you think. Um, goal scorer Kyle Dixon and our midfield, young midfield general in Kerry Anderson. Big up on yourself, people. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, MG Sports TV. And I'll see you guys again. Until next time, God bless. Like, share, subscribe, and remember, link in the description and also the comment section if you want to buy us a coffee. Big up on yourself, people. Enjoy yourself on day. God bless. We're out.